Back in Albert Park here in Melbourne, it's the Formula One circuit down here in Australia. I want to test out the new GoPro Hero 9 and the feature of this which is most important for the uses that I'll have for it. The stabilisation is supposed to be really good on this thing, so I thought we'd check it out. I'm going to attach it to my bike and one of the nice new features of the GoPro Hero 9 is if you want to attach it, you want to mount it to something like a bike, a car, an aeroplane, you can do it without having to use a bracket because it has these little fold down feet now so I can attach it directly to my mount and stick it on the bike. Now the cool thing is you can set up these different presets. I've created one called mounted and what you want to make sure is that for your lens you've got different lens options but you want to go for the linear plus horizon leveling and what that will do is it doesn't matter which way the camera goes, if it goes left or right, it's going to keep the horizon level in the distance. I record this in 4K, 25 frames a second. Alright, I've got horizon levelling turned on, I've got GoPro's new stabilisation 3.0, it's their new version of their stabilisation software turned on as well. Let's do a fast lap, let's do a moderately fast lap of the Australian Formula One circuit and see how good the stabilisation is. What you might find pretty hard to believe is that whole sequence you just saw was actually sped up. I just looked at it back and that was a 13 minute clip uh, reduced to whatever it was on there, probably about 1 minute 20, something like the actual time it takes to go around the lap of Albert Park if you are a Formula One car. So just quickly, here's what that hyper smooth linear horizon levelling, here's what it looks like at normal speed on probably the bumpiest part of the circuit. <laughs> I thought I'd lost the GoPro, I'll put it in my pocket. The other thing a lot of people are talking about with the GoPro is that it records in up to, I don't know whether you can see that, but it records in up to 5K. Now 5K might seem really extreme, especially when most of us, like me included, we export movies here on YouTube at 1080p HD resolution. Sometimes 4K, but do you really need 5K worth of res? Well the reason for that actually ties into the stabilisation. What the GoPro does, it's really clever, is it records at 5K, but crops into 4K and that extra K, that extra image it's capturing, it actually uses to help stabilise and smooth out the image. So when you have horizon levelling on and you have hyper smooth turned on, the results they're really impressive. A few other features to talk about as well, just first. Oh, I'm hot after that ride. Okay, so how does the GoPro come when it arrives in the box? Here we 
Here are some shots then just of the GoPro set to 50 frames a second, down sample to 25. Oops, hang on. Vlogging in traffic. Here's the GoPro at its standard setting so you can have a look at what it looks like. shoot time lapses. Also slow motion. I'll need to do is to put it on the wing of Echo Yankee Zulu and test the stabilization in flight. Can't do that for a couple of weeks until lockdown is over, but I'll bring that to you on the channel very soon. Uh, coming up next week on the channel, a very exclusive bit of technology. I'm working with a new brand. Uh, can't tell you who that brand is. Suffice to say, it's very exciting. If you like your technology and aviation, I think you're going to very much enjoy it. Sorry, just got an itch there. Um, but yeah, look, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these kind of videos. Give us a like if you enjoyed that. Otherwise, I'll see you for something very exciting and exclusive. Can't tell you who it's with, but very exciting.